Yo, what is up, boys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys every single type of tunnel that you need to know to be successful in competitive Fortnite. Let's get right into it. All right, so before I teach you guys these tunnels, let me just quickly show you the main types of tunnels. So there's actually five main types of tunnels, but there's a few extra ones that you guys should probably know. The first main type of tunnel is this standard straight tunnel. The second main type of tunnel is the standard straight tunnel, but with a front wall in front of it. The third one is this ramp tunnel, and you usually use this one when you're trying to conserve mats. The fifth one is this diagonal tunnel, and you use this one, of course, when you're going to the side. And then lastly, and probably the hardest one is this upwards ramp tunnel when a lot of people see this tunnel they immediately get scared but don't worry i'm going to teach you guys how to do it i'm actually going to teach you guys how to do all of these tunnels so let's just get right into the first one so the first tunnel that i'm going to show you guys how to do is probably the most important one and it's this standard straight tunnel a lot of people do mess up with this one but don't worry because i'm going to help you all right so to start off the motion of this tunnel is going to be top floor and then bottom floor and then when you do your walls you want to make sure that you just tap them See, what a lot of people will do is they'll drag their walls across like this and they'll accidentally place this front wall in front of them. But the thing is, when you're in this position, you just want to look over here and then tap and then look over here and tap. So when you're doing these floors, you hold it. So you hold your floor button and then you just look down so you get the top one and the bottom one. Then you tap, tap, hold floor, floor, tap, tap. If you do struggle with any of these tunnels, I would really recommend trying out this map here. This is my free building map and in this map, we have a bunch of speeds on these walls and when you shoot at the speed, you'll actually move at it. So you saw me just shoot that 0.8 speed and now when I move, I move a lot slower, which makes it much easier to learn new moves. So if you do want to give this map a try, the code will be in the description. All right, next up, we have this standard straight tunnel, but with the front wall. This one can actually be very difficult because of this editing here. So to do this tunnel, you do have to be a pretty fast editor. So if you can't do this yet, make sure you just keep practicing your edits. But if your edits are fast enough to do this tunnel, then it's all about crosshair placement. So with the other tunnel, we did top floor and then bottom floor and then wall wall. But with this one, I actually go from the bottom to the top. After that, you drag your walls all the way around this time instead of just tapping. But then the hardest part here is after you drag your walls, you want to make sure that your crosshair lands right back to here so then you can make your next edit. Or of course, if you edit this way, you want to make sure that your crosshair lands right here so you can make your next edit. The hardest thing about this tunnel is just going from here over to your next edit because if you do mess up your crosshair placement, you'll mess up the tunnel. But if you do struggle with this tunnel, here's one drill that I recommend you try. So all you do is you place a wall here and then a wall here and then you come back here and you edit this wall. So in full speed, it'll just look like this. So what this drill does is it really helps you practice your crosshair placement because all you have to do is practice bringing your crosshair from here back to here instead of having to worry about placing all the other builds around you. After you guys perfect this drill here, what you're going to want to do next is practice putting the floor, floor, and then the walls. So it's going to be floor, floor, walls, and then edit. And then you just keep practicing this. It's much easier to learn a new move when you take it piece by piece instead of just trying to jump right into it. So then after you get this drill down here, you're just going to put it all together. So you're going to go floor, floor, and then all the walls this time, and then edit. And then once you learn that, you have this tunnel completely down. But yeah, guys, tunneling can be pretty hard, so just take your time with it and take each tunnel piece by piece, and it'll make it much easier. Now that we got this tunnel out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. The next tunnel I'm going to show you guys is definitely the easiest one, and most of you guys probably already know how to do it. So don't worry, I'm not going to take too much time with this one, but there is one trick that you guys probably don't know about this tunnel. So the tunnel that I'm talking about is, of course, this floor wall ramp tunnel. If you guys do already know how to do this tunnel, drop a fire emoji in the comments. When I do coaching, I see a lot of people do this tunnel wrong. So they'll do it like this. They'll place their wall like this, and then they'll place their ramp against the wall. So in full speed, their tunnel usually looks like this. But doing it like that is not optimal, and here's why. When you do your tunnel like that, you have to place the wall first and then the ramp after that, that, so there's a split second when your back is not covered. So for a split second after I place this wall and my ramp isn't placed, someone behind me can get a shot on me. So the better way to do this tunnel would be to look at your floor while you do it. What I mean by that is look at the floor and then place your ramp and your wall so you can do them both at the same time. So in full speed, this is what the tunnel should look like. And as you can see, doing it that way is a lot easier with your crosshair placement as well. But yeah, guys, like I said, this tunnel is pretty easy. So if you didn't know how to do it, I hope that helped. But let's move on to the next tunnel that I'm going to show you guys how to do. The next tunnel is going to be this diagonal tunnel, and it's usually called the Bizzle Snake Tunnel. I've always just called it the Twisty Tunnel thing because to me, that just rings a bell better. But uh, you can call it whatever you want. So when I'm coaching people, I tend to always see them mess up with this one. So if you do struggle with this one, just know that you're not alone and I'm going to help you. So this tunnel here is all about crosshair placement. All right, so the motion of this tunnel is going to be top floor, bottom floor, and then wall, wall. And then you just go ahead and you bring your cursor up like this to the top floor. And then you go right back down to the bottom floor and then another wall and then a wall. Sometimes when I'm watching people do this, I'll notice that they drag their walls like this. So they look in the middle and then they look over here. But that's not the way that you should be doing this tunnel. When you're doing it, you should look down so you don't have to move as far. What I mean by that is look straight down and then you can just look a little bit. As you can see, the only motion I made was this little motion instead of going like this. So I may be turned about 25 degrees instead of a whole 90 degrees and that'll save you some time. So just so you guys know, in full speed, the wrong way would look like this but in full speed the right way should look like this 
that little trick right there can save you a lot of stress with this tunnel. It literally can make the difference between knowing how to do this tunnel and not being able to. So yeah, definitely implement this little trick right here into your tunneling so you can do it a lot better. But now that we knocked this one out of the way, it's time to move on to the hardest one, the upwards ramp tunnel. And don't worry if this tunnel looks scary to you guys because I promise you that you're not alone. I'm just going to be completely honest with you and tell you guys that this tunnel will take you a lot of time to get down. Just like everything else in this game, it does take a lot of practice, but if you want to make it a little easier, make sure you guys use the map that I told you about. But yeah guys, the motion of this tunnel is going to be bottom ramp, top ramp, and then just like that one tunnel where we tap the walls, this time we're kind of going to do the same thing. After you place your ramps, you're going to want to look to the side and then drag your walls up just like this. But then right after you drag your walls up, you're going to let go of your wall triggers so you don't place any more walls. Then you're going to look over here right to this bottom wall and then drag up again. Just like that one tunnel, a lot of people will accidentally place this one in front of them and it will completely mess them up. So really just make sure that when you guys are looking over, you aren't holding down your wall bind to get over to this side. So it'll just be a tap, drag, tap, drag. And you're going to really make sure that you don't drag your walls all the way over. But yeah guys, once you get that one part down and you stop placing the wall in front of you, this tunnel will get a lot easier. That's by far the biggest problem that everyone has with this tunnel, so really just take your time and practice that. But yeah guys, those are the five main types of tunnels that you need to know, so definitely make sure that you learn all of those. But like I said in the beginning, there's a few extra ones that you should learn as well. This next tunnel I'm going to show you is pretty odd, and a lot of people actually don't use it. But here's what it looks like. This tunnel is pretty self-explanatory on how to do, but it's just a wall, ramp, and then a cone, and you repeat that. For controller players, this tunnel is pretty easy to do because all you have to do is look to your side while also looking over here, but it might be very difficult for mouse and keyboard players if you don't use double movement. This is because if you're on keyboard, it's almost impossible to look this way while also building this way. So to do this tunnel on keyboard, you probably will need double movement. You won't use this tunnel much, but one time you will use it is if you're edge zone endgame. What I mean by that is only use this tunnel if there's nobody behind you in this direction. This is because this side is wide open, so obviously if there is people over here, you're going to want to make sure that this wall is also protected. And also, you'll use this tunnel if there's someone above you, obviously, because that's why the cones are there. But yeah, let's move on to the next tunnel that I'm going to show you how to do. This next tunnel is a solo tunnel, and it's also one of the most important tunnels in the game. You really only want to use this tunnel if you're playing solos or if you're really low on mats. But yeah, this is what the tunnel looks like. When I'm doing this tunnel, I like to make sure that I'm building in front of me like this instead of going like this. This method guarantees that my builds will place, and it offers me more protection since my builds are already there. I don't really think I have to explain how to do this tunnel to you because it's just a ramp and a floor. But yeah, if you guys don't know this tunnel, you definitely need to learn it ASAP. If you made it until the end of the video, I hope you found something useful in there. And if you did enjoy this video, I guarantee you'll enjoy the one up on the screen right now. And if you do want to support me a little bit more, consider using code VIZLU in the Fortnite item shop. But with all that said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.